Welcome back to the Gloves Are Off. It's time for us to get into our longer debate. Now, this is called Offside Onside. Now, we have a president of a university here, so this is why, uh, Lake Lyon College, this is why I want to talk about this with both of you. I want to talk about the difference between Canadian and American alumni relations, especially with regards to athletics. An example I would say is, you know, we just have the CFL draft and the NFL draft. I'm sure that there were Auburn alum and, and alumni from all the American colleges watching to see who from their school was going to get picked, and maybe that will change or alter who they're going to support next year in the NFL based on the draft. Now, we have a CFL draft, and I'm sure that most people at home don't even know who was drafted first overall, and he was from St. FX. So my question to both of you is, why is there a difference? With your experience in the athletic department at the school, why is there a difference? And, and why, are some, why are so many Americans so dedicated to building and contributing to their athletic programs where Canadians really just aren't? You know, it's a societal difference between mm -hmm. Canada and the States and extends far beyond just alumni. Um, the attitude towards sports in the U.S. Is, is so much more passionate than it is in Canada, uh, with the possible exception of hockey. But, I mean, if you look at you, you go to the southern states and, and on a Friday night go, uh, go see a football game. Mm -hmm. There's 10, 15, 20,000 at For a high, high school, school game. At mm -hmm. a high school game. Right. You know, we got some CFL games can't draw 10, 15,000. It's true. So, I mean, it, it's just a very different culture. It's evolved that way uh, in terms of alumni specifically. A lot more expensive to go to school in the states than it is in Canada mm -hmm. historically. Might be catching up a little bit, but there's still a gap there. Um, and maybe that extra commitment uh, as well as the socialization in your schools and, you, and your alma mater. Uh, it means it seems to mean more certainly on the athletic side mm -hmm. um, so, but Canada you know I'd love to see that emulated in Canada it's not here now so then Strzok you spend a lot of time at Lakeland reporting Tons. there they have great fan support for their team so what do you think it's going to take then for alumni to get more involved and for that fan base and that support for the athletics to grow it has to it all uh, everything always comes down to money mm -hmm. always and I think when at the end of the day you look at the states and you see all those, you know, doctors and all those, you know, alum give back, you know, all those former athletes, they all give back. And that, oh, plus they have tons of sponsors. I think it's uh, Nike sponsors the Oregon Ducks, mm -hmm, yeah. for instance. Like things like that, obviously, we don't really have here in Lloydminster or even here in Canada in some parts. But just one of those things where, yeah, money talks and money is, the, I guess, the difference between. American sports and Canadian college but sports. But I'm sure that there are graduates from Lakeland and, and other schools here in Canada, CIS schools, you know, who have gone on and done great things with their lives. Why is it, like, I still don't understand why, you know, why if I'm doing well and I happen to have an extra, you know, $25,000, why don't I make that donation to Lakeland? You're talking about wanting new bleachers. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's a Lakeland grad out there who has some a successful business. Why isn't his or her first thought, let me help my school? I hope it will be now. Yes. Uh, <laughs> um, I, I don't know. Again, I, it's just a cultural difference. Yeah. It really is. Uh, the, and it's not, there are exceptions. Mm -hmm. I mean, Mike Babcock's helping the Red Deer Rebels, or sorry, the Red Deer College team get their hockey team right. and their hockey program back yeah. on, on sound financial footing. So there are exceptions mm -hmm. and, and, and people making significant donations. But it's, it's the norm in the States. It's an exception right. in Canada. And I think a difference too is a lot of our top-notch athletes here in Canada, not that I was top-notch, but I mean, I took my game to the States, right? I got my school paid for, that kind of thing. And I think it's kind of unfortunate that some of our better athletes who might be high profile then go and take their game to the States. So even if they did reach a professional level, their alma mater is not going to be a Canadian school. It's going well, to be an American yeah, school. Yeah, you look at guys like Steve Nash. He went down to right. play in the States, yeah. probably one of the best players you know, ever in Canadian sports mm -hmm. history. And then you see those basketball players now that played for the Texas Longhorns this year. They're going to be up for the draft. They're not here in Canada where, right. you know, maybe s people would want to pay and, you know, see them play, things like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I think that a lot of those athletes, like you said, are deciding to go down to the States right. just because it is a much bigger deal and that they're in the sp more in the spotlight down there than they would be up here. Yeah. It, is a, it is an age-old question, the difference between Canadian and American student education and student athletics anyways all right well stay tuned our guest gets the chance to sound off coming up next you're not going to want to miss that